Shalom, brothers and sisters. I pray that you are blessed. I'm going to jump right into this word. This is very important. It's crucial. With the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, bodies, hearts, and spirit. In holy Yeshua's name, Amen. Heavenly Father, today I just give you all the glory, Heavenly Father. I give you, Holy Yeshua, our Mashiach, Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, all of the glory, Heavenly Father, and I thank you. I am humbled, Father, uh, to be able to uh, pre-warn uh, your children of the things to come, Father, the hour that is upon us. I give you all of the glory. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are the author and finisher of our faith, Father. We trust in your word, Father, that you will not forsake us, Father, that indeed you will lift us up with your righteous hand, Heavenly Father. We also know, written in Jeremiah 29, Father, that you give us that expected end, Father, and we just need to hearken unto you and just be cemented in your promises, we give you all of the glory. Amen. So, priests, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I do apologize for that short prayer, but um, quite frankly, we just need to get to what's at hand here. And this is not an easy word, but it is very crucial. It's very crucial that you take me and these words to Father Ahaya directly so that you get your own confirmations and you're able to prepare your families. Again, this is very crucial. This is a very pivotal time in prophecy, priests. And if you are in the word and you are seeing all of the signs around us, you know that the hour has come. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to jump into a couple of things here. Prophecies that Father had given me. Um, I'm going to try to be um, short but thorough. So I ask you kindly, please, please watch the entire message as there are several prophecies that have led up to Father having me come on and speak this. These warnings, these are very serious. These are, um, these are prophecies that are going to come to fruition, and we just really need to brace ourselves and, again, be confident and cemented in the word that Father will not forsake us, and he's, his angels will take charge of us. So please, please be aware. I'm going to get started. I'll touch on, on the um, first image here in just a moment. I will go over that in just a second. I'm going to go in order here. And again, I want to be thorough. <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to start it with this. Yesterday, I received the words clearly. They are going nuclear. This was at 8.31 a.m. yesterday morning. They are going nuclear. I asked for several confirmations to make sure that I heard what Father had spoken to me because I was out and about. I was actually going and getting groceries. So um, when I got back, I got several, several, priests. I got several confirmations. Please stay tuned to this word. This is so very important. Yesterday, November 20th, 2024, which I just found this out. Um, apparently, this brother in Christ posted this late last night or in the early hours. And so please be aware of it. In this, vi in this video, which I'm going to play three, about three minutes of it for you, for you to understand the severity of the hour, the Pentagon head, Lloyd Austin, he made an announcement. He made an official public announcement. Please Pay close attention to the detail that I'm going to speak. This is very, very important. We're going to play that now. Breaking emergency news. The U.S. Secretary of Defense has issued a urgent warning on live television. And he is saying this is, quote, a dangerous situation that the United States is now entering into so i want you to listen to this this was a interview he just did with nbc news responding to the united states 
using their own missiles and weaponry to fire on Russia. So let's get into the details here really quick, guys. Please just hit that like and hit that subscribe. I'm posting multiple videos a day, keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news. And it just helps to get these warnings out. I appreciate that. So this is what the Defense Secretary Austin just said. And this is big for our country because this is a major escalation. We've seen the U.S. approve missiles to be fired into Russia from Ukraine. And we've also seen the U.K. approve as well to their, quote, storm shadow missiles, which are essentially bunker buster missiles, have been approved as well too to fire from Ukraine into Russia and there's also been a 275 million dollar aid package as well so I want you to listen to what the Secretary of Defense said and listen to this segment here from NBC News really quick and then we will talk more details about what's going on just days after Ukraine began using U.S. supply the long-range weapons against Russia the U.S. announced that its embassy in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev closed after receiving quote specific information of a potential significant air attack this also comes after president Biden. we've all been seeing all the news about what these celebrities have been doing at those crazy parties with Biden approved anti-personnel landmines for ukraine to allow kiev to defend itself from advancing russian troops defense secretary lloyd austin defended the u.s policy changes in an exclusive and wide-ranging interview with nbc news's courtney Cuby. he also discussed among other topics his potential successor pete hegseth President-elect's pick for the president-elect's pick to lead the Pentagon. Courtney has more. Today, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev closing its doors and issuing a warning to employees and Americans to shelter in place amidst the threat of an imminent large-scale attack by air on the capital city. Now, this comes as tensions are already high in the area after Russian President Vladimir Putin said that they were, he was lowering the threshold for the use of nuclear weapons by Russia. We spoke with Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin today in an exclusive interview where I asked him about that threat from Russian P President Vladimir Putin to use a nuclear weapon. But Putin has also escalated, just announcing that he's lowered the threshold for using nuclear weapons. He announced this right after uh, press reports that the U.S. had authorized attack and strikes inside of Russia. Is there a reason to believe that Vladimir Putin may use a nuclear weapon? We've known for several weeks that they were revamping their their policy on uh, use of nuclear weapons. As I look at uh, you know what they're doing, and I, I we watch their strategic forces. Uh, you know, very carefully. Uh, I don't see a change in their strategic force posture. Uh, and so you know, we'll continue to remain vigilant in this regard. Uh, but uh, uh, at this point, uh, no, I, I don't see an indication that there's a, an imminent uh, intent to, to use nuclear weapons. Is he bluffing with this change? He has rattled his uh, nuclear saber quite, uh, quite a bit. And this is dangerous behavior, as you heard me say before. We would expect that... Uh, Countries with uh, nuclear capability be a heck of a lot more uh, uh, responsible in terms of how they uh, how they act and and uh, what they're saying. So. Putin's nuclear saber rattling comes after the Biden administration. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there, and um, you notice what he ended with, which is. Um, uh, sort of asinine, to be quite honest with you. And by the way, that's not a bad word, but just so you all know. <laughs> Um, it, it, it's quite um, unethical as well because he's saying that they need to really be careful on you know what words they choose. Yet, um, since then, I have found out also that there are reports that Biden, um, the Biden administration, sent out um, and provided uh, nuclear weapons for Ukraine to use against Russia. So you see, you see the buildup here, guys. You see this coming to fruition, it's being fueled, right? Because they're going to do everything in their power to have a disruption in um, Trump's uh, inauguration. And perhaps they will succeed for, for a time. But we already know through prophecy that Father has spoken that he indeed will take his, his uh, appointed place for 42 months. So we may see a lot of um, 
just a lot of unraveling here. But uh, to move on, this is very important because now we may have received the voice and the face of um, of a uh, sorry of a vision that I was that I was shown. Okay, you'll understand here in just a moment. So my point to this, in, and it'll make a little bit more sense when I go through these, is let, let me just let me just go with the flow here. So we may let's just let's just say this at this hour. We may have just received one of the signs and one of the clear indications of a prophecy that was spoken to me um, by Father, and it was um, it well it was a sign of them giving us. Uh, a heads up. Okay. So I'll go to go into that in just a moment, but also be aware that not only with the Biden administration, uh, basically um, equipping Ukraine with uh, weapons. And of course, Russia is aware of this is just really poking at the bear and things are things are escalating. Things are escalating. So we need to prepare. Uh, also, along with that is um, they have done great deployments as well. And I know that for a fact because I have family members um, who were sent out in October uh, ahead of the time because, of course, they, they've they been planning this. They, this plan has been well in the works for a while. Now, we're going to go back to some of these prophecies, okay? Thus saith Father Ahaya. In January 2017th, um, I was given the details to a prophecy uh, that you will find in Zechariah 5, okay? Now, we're not going to go into all of that, but you, there's a couple of things that you do want to know about it, and you're more than welcome to watch that video uh, at a later time. In this prophecy, this was spoken in January of 2017, um, Father is revealing the content of that scripture that it describes a missile, right? A nuclear warhead, a vessel. And um, he also had me touch on the Manhattan Project. Now, this is very important because of a couple of things, okay? And again, this has all been in the works. You know, one president comes in, he fills in his position, you know, he... Um, he advances the agenda on his watch, so to speak, and this is the case with Obama, okay, besides Obamacare, which is a whole different subject. Um, but that is, I'm, I am going to mention that because Holy Spirit put that in my mouth, so I'm just going to, I'm going to touch on the thing with Obamacare is um, in the Obamacare um and you can you can actually uh, and Obamacare Act. You can go to uh, thewhitehouse.org. You can pull up that um, that initial um, plan, right? Healthcare plan, and you will see. And I believe a sister in Christ, um, uh, Queen Warrior, she actually reminded me of it yesterday um, because she had shared, shared something about Obama. But in that um, in that Obamacare uh, layout. Uh, it mentions, and th as you all know, Obama was in term quite some time ago, but um, it lays out the plan for the RFID chip. So again, we're talking digital here, the digital uh, form of the RFID chip, which they will insert in the hand or the forehead. So again, please keep in mind that the first two beasts listed in uh, Revelation 13 and 17, uh, they're buddies. They, they end up really buddying up on this deal. And you know this if you read thoroughly through Revelation 13 and 17, because uh, the second beast gives the power to the first beast and so forth, right? And so I'm I'm just, um, you know, not, uh, not quoting it, but uh, just paraphrasing, okay? Okay, so let's get right into this, because I'm going to share a couple of prophecies that I have shared from my podium uh, in obedience over the years. All right, so let's take a look at the connection to the Manhattan Project that Father had me mention in that video. The deadline is approaching for Americans who are still making car payments to get some relief this week. That's right. Amer President Obama says Russia's recent actions in Ukraine are cause for concern, but he thinks terrorism, especially in our area, is a much greater threat. Russia's actions are a problem. They don't pose the number one national security threat to the United States. Uh, I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan. The president was speaking in the... Well, that sure is uh, 
<laughs> precise, right? So you can see where this is going. Um, and he specifically is talking about Manhattan. Again, um, look into Manhattan Project when you get a moment so that you can fully understand uh, the message that was spoken in this video here. Okay, let's see here. Now we're going to go to, we're going to go over some of these prophecies given over the years. Uh, August 22nd, 2021. And I want to be very thorough, so I might slow down. I might slow myself down here. I was shown a scene of me warning of nuclear war. I was shown the same image I had posted when I had to speak on this a couple months ago. I was shown my youngest son, Emmanuel, who is symbolic of Father Ahaya. Okay, Emmanuel, God is with us. He tends to be um, portraying Father Ahaya in my, in my dreams and visions. It just depends on the scenario that I'm being shown. Some of the dreams and visions are personal, so I know that they are with they are about him. Um, but this particular scene, I was shown Emmanuel to be uh, likened after Father Ahaya. And um, he was helping me lift this prayer candle stand. Okay, where are the candlesticks, where the lamp stands? It had rows of red cups and candles on it. I had to tend to it while working, but the wind kept coming through and blowing things over. They wouldn't stay lit. So this is a plea to the body of Christ. Keep your candlesticks lit. And if you all have been following this channel, you know um, that we are the candlesticks. That light is within us. Christ is within us. And you need to be learning about the kingdom within because the kingdom within also is in respects to the sacred secretion and um, ascending the mountain of the Lord with a pure heart and clean hands. This takes internal work. And this is how come in the last video, Father had me speak of second Ezra's for Ezra's because of the fact that it establishes clearly, and this is the book for the elect. And I'm going to say one of the books for the elect because many of these books were hidden from us. This book in particular establishes that indeed, just as is written in Revelation 14, that there are the first fruits that are taken up and there, there is a remnant left behind that needed to be refined. And he will take a third of them and refine them, putting them through the fire and making them as gold and silver. We know that, that scripture, okay? So very, very important. If you're not following the Maseroth now, I encourage you to take me and the series to Father directly because Father is giving us in real time signs for us to be watching for. And today's video is absolutely having to do with a sign that will be given. And I'm going to get to that here next uh, in just a second. I got to go over these dreams with you. Now, you see that the, the previous entry was from... Um, August, August. Oh, that was actually August 21st. So I actually should have done this one first. So this is the one that I was saying that I had done a couple months ago. So this one here was October 26, 2020. I was shown uh, children being instructed to get under their desks um, for safety, nuclear drills. They were being shown nuclear drills. Okay. They were doing this in the schools. So clearly we had some time to prepare. Um, Father Ohio woke me up from this dream at 6 a.m. Now, keep in mind, this isn't all doom and gloom, okay? Please, please be encouraged uh, because there are several watchmen on the wall that have um, prophesied similar, very similar dreams. And in one particular dream, uh, it was very lucid. Father showed me that as the bombs came down, um, we were whisked off by angels. We were taken up. We, we ascended, Okay. So please keep that in mind. All right. And then um, when I had been looking up the previous entry, this one right here, okay, this came up from that time. Okay. So this isn't recent. This came up from that time. And this, this um, gentleman here, Blair um, Heyman, he, he tweeted apparently, and it said, uh, take cover, Trump's reckless nuke tweets have me thinking about Cold War bomb, Cold War bomb shelters hide under the desk drills. That was a massive confirmation for the dreams that I had received from Father Ahaya. So I'm including that as well. All right, now we skip over to 
October, once again, Father has given me October again, October 5th, 2022, I was shown a literal sign and I heard a voice as if it were being announced. Okay. Remember the sec- uh, the um, defense secretary. I didn't have a face with the face. Um, I mean, I had a, um, I had a voice in the vision, but I didn't know whose voice it was. Right. Let me, let me go back here. So shown a sign and heard a voice as if it were being announced that read nuclear 48 hours. This is the sign that we are to be alert for, be on alert for. There will be a sign given, okay, on national TV because it was being announced, okay? The voice was a man's voice. It was not that of Father Ahaya nor Holy Yeshaya. It seemed to be an announcement perhaps an announcement warning. This is my journal entry that day. Please know where your iodine pills are. So if you don't have iodine pills, it's very crucial that you do obtain those ASAP. Have a plan in place. Okay, and again, just reassuring us all, the joy of the Lord of Yeshaya is our strength. And this is what the sign looked like. Well, I can't zoom into it, but yeah, you can see it there. All right. Let me go up a little bit. Just uh, reaffirming what I received yesterday. Uh, Father spoke this very clear in my spirit. And again, I cannot vocalize any more than we have. We know the hour. If you know prophecy or if you are in your word, this is not a surprise. This should not take you by as a thief in the night. You should be ready and calm, collected, and you should be strength for the week because that's what Father said, that we will need to be strength for the week, okay? Because we are going to see some things. We're, we're not going to just abandon his children that weren't ready. We have to be in place. We have to be of sound mind and have no fear because the joy of the Lord is our strength and Father's words are true, okay? So please, please take caution. Be prepared, it, this takes action, mindful action on your part. Have a, a family meeting plan. Get your bug out bags. Go through them. Make sure that they're up to par. Okay. Sometimes the things in them, they go to waste and then you end up with like little worms and stuff. So make sure that you, you take your bug out bags. Those of you who have prepared for this day, make sure that you have those bug out bags um, prepped and ready to go. Um, in case that you have to fill them, refill them also. So iodine pills are going to be essential because, uh, and please read about this, okay? This is very important that you do your research for your family. Get to know about how to administer the um, iodine pills, um, especially if you like have children, grandchildren, you want to be aware so you're not in a panic at the last minute, okay? So please do your homework on this. And it is said that the first 48 to 72 hours are very crucial. Um, That is the time when you would obviously um, take these orally. All right. Uh, Also, and and I'm not going to include the videos, but there are two videos that Father had me speak about um, years ago. I think they're like six and seven years ago. And that is um, the reference to scarcity comes quickly. As soon as war really starts to go on U.S. soil, Um, scarcity will come quickly because people will start to panic buy. So you need to purchase now before the chaos. Okay. Because that's not, that's not all we have on our plate. Okay. Um, We know about the sleeper cells. They have been been put in place for several years now. And so you have to be mindful of that as well. And you need to be absolutely sober and alert, sober and alert. Father says, um, Okay, I also was um, shown that uh, about the sleeper cells are would be dressed, would be dressed um, undercover in construction workers clothing. Okay, so they're going to be undercover and some even posing as UN peacekeepers. I've said this before because of what I've been shown. And those are other prophecies regarding the peace workers. They are not peace worker, peacekeepers. They're not peacekeepers. Okay. As you know, they're a part of the UN, and that is the honeycomb. 
thus saith Father Ahaya. So uh, please, please be aware of that. And then just um, also just want to reassure you again in the word, stay strong in the word, stay in, in the word daily so that you can prepare mind, body, spirit, and heart. Um, in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So again, he's not going to forsake us. Call upon him. Call upon your angels. Our reinforcements are coming. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Psalm 91, 11. Also, be expectant of the glory of the Lord. The day will come when the sons of light will be revealed. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 through 3, play close attention to detail. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But... The Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. So again, please, this is not a, a fear-mongering message. This is telling you the facts for you to be ready. And now we are able to potentially place a face and voice with the um, with the the head of the um, head of national security, sorry, um, and we are able to determine that most likely this announcement is going to be publicized, and quite frankly, it could be his voice and his face that we see that actually says they're warning the American people that nuclear is about to hit in 48 hours. So please, please feel comforted. Please take all things to Father Ahaya and uh, just know that Father's going to get us through this. And if you haven't already, please, please forgive and please repent because Father said that we would have to be ready in order to leave. This is what he said. He said that we would have to be ready in order to leave. Your hearts must be aligned and be in covenant with Father Ahaya. Repent and forgive others. Remember, we've been talking about this recent Mazara series and the, um, the last episode of Second Ezra's for Ezra's, the book for the elect. And it clearly, and I'm going to repeat this, it clearly establishes the first fruits written in Revelation 14. So it absolutely, absolutely is, is revealing the validity of this hidden book that's been hidden for ages from us. And also, it establishes a remnant, a remnant that will be taken through the fire and refined. It's very important that you seek ye first the kingdom, so that all righteousness may be added to you, and that Father can do the work and refine you, and refine your hearts. I love you very much. I give Father Ahaya all of the glory. Amen.